Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai, Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai, Brakathayahawa, Brakathayahawa Shai. <clears throat> blessed be the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thamashan Akabala is a Kwame Sharala, get double honest to the elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone of Ruel. Shalom Wahab Labach Yashar Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at Yagim Tana Lesson Baharaka Kharasha Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the title of this video is gonna be Oh when the Saints Come Marching In. Oh when the Saints Come Marching In. Oh when the Saints Come Marching In. Oh, how I hope to be of that number when the saints come marching in. Very beautiful song. And it hit different now that we're in the truth. And we understand who the saints are. The saint ain't just anybody. They ain't, the saint ain't just some Edomite nun. Saint Teresa. No. All right. The saints. Let's just read it. Let's just read it. Start off with that. This is the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 50 and verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Who is the covenant made with? The Israelites. Let's continue to read. Verse 6. And the heaven shall declare his righteousness. Oh, yeah. So like for Yahweh. Hashem Yahweh is judge himself. Salah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, O Israel, his people, the saints, and I will testify against thee. I am Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh even thy power. Okay? So the Lord, he's coming to gather his saints. Right? Saints are Israelites. It's the only way you can be a saint. Let's read another one. <clears throat> this is the book of Psalms, chapter 149 and verse 1. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in the congregation of the saints. Right? Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. That's who the saints are. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Um, Salakia. This is Psalm chapter 148 and verse 3. We're going to get to that 149, the Lord's will. Psalms 148 and verse 13. It says, let them praise the name of the Lord. Ooh, the saints got that name. The saints call on Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai. The saints ain't saying Jesus. That's not his name, okay? The saints ain't saying Christ, okay? They calling on, again, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Let me see what this scripture says. Yep, this is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. And the nations were angry... And thy wrath is come. And the time, and that has to be now. All right? This has to be talking about now. And the time of the dead, that they should be judged. It's talking about it's talking about the Lord judging this place. The Lord judging these heathen, starting with Esau, Eden, judging the whole entire earth. It's talking about the end of this world, the end of this kingdom, the end of the time of the Gentiles. That has to be now. That has to be now. In the book of Ezekiel, the Lord said, I will speak a word and in your days will I perform it. Well, how was the word spoken? The word was spoken through the mouth of the of the prophets, starting with the apostles and the elders on down. Luke 1 and 70 says, I have spoken through the mouth of the prophets, which have been since the world began. So the word has been spoken through the prophets. So in our days, in this lifetime, in the very, very, very near future, we're going to see this place to come to an end. And also, let's continue to read. 
It says that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints. So more specifically, the saints are the elect of the nation of Israel. More specifically, because when we go back, let's go back into that Psalms. Pookie, Pookie and Ray Ray ain't saints. Um, spiritually, they ain't saints. Okay? Them niggas is heathens. Spiritually. Oh, what did the Lord say? You are uncircumcised in heart. I forget what. Um, man. Oh, yeah. We're going to that Psalms. Psalms. <clears throat> Salakia. Psalms chapter 50 and verse 5. Going into that word saint. It says, gather unto me my saints. It goes to the, the Hebrew word. Chasayad. Chasayad. Which goes back to the, the, the root of that word is chasad. Chasad. Okay. It says, uh, faithful, kind, godly, holy one. Faithful ones. Woo. Okay. So the saints are the faithful ones. Okay. The anointed ones. The real Christians are the saints. The saints, in order to be a saint, in order to be an actual Christian, an anointed one, you have to be an Israelite to even qualify. Okay? To even get in the club. Let's go to the root word. Chassad. Chassad. Which is, which is where you get the word um, Mercy. Right? It says to be good, be kind, to show kindness to oneself, to be reproached, be to be reproached, to be ashamed. That's the second definition. So that so for that word saint in Psalms chapter 50 and verse 5, it's the Hebrew word chasadya, right? Or Kasayad. Um, let's go to that Psalms 148. And let's see that word. Because I know that there's different Hebrew words for the word saint in a couple different spots, I believe. So let's see what it says in this Psalms uh, 148. If not, we'll just keep it pushing. He also exalted the horn. Yep, this is Psalms chapter 148 and verse 14. It says, He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. Hey, the Lord's not even considering all Israel of Israel. Uh, Romans the ninth chapter. The scriptures uh, in the book of Galatians, it talks about the Israel of God. Those are the real saints. So that word right there is chasad as well. Um... Cause I remember one time I was going into it and I seen um I seen a different word. Psalms 106 in verse 16 it says they envy Moses also in the camp and Aaron, the saint of the Lord Yahweh. The saint of the Lord Yahweh of, of the Lord Yahweh. That's Psalms 106 and 16. Let me read it again. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron, the saint of the Lord Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. Right? So let's go into that word saint. It's the Hebrew word Kwadawash. Kwadawash. Right? The root word is Kwadash. Kwadash. All right, which is where you get the word holy. Bahasham Racha Kwadash. Okay, Holy Spirit. So this word right here for saint called Aaron a saint. Right? And that word for saint in Psalms 106 and 16 is Kwadawash, which means sacred, holy. 
set apart. Okay? So, it's, it's talking about the elect. It's talking about the elect. The saints start with the elect. So, how I hope to be of that number when the saints come marching in. How I hope to be of that remnant. How I hope to be of the elect. How I hope to be of the chosen one. The chosen ones. Okay? Whom Yahweh Shai is coming back to deliver. Is coming back to save. This is the book of Matthew. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 24 and verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the number one saint, <coughs> Salakia. The anointed one, the holy one, right? It says, And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, the chariots, so-called UFOs, so-called UAPs, the clouds of heaven, Psalms 104, with power and great glory. And great glory. Isaiah 63, uh, traveling in the greatness of his strength. It might be Isaiah 64. It says, um, I will not meet thee as a man. Lord's coming back. Ooh, man. Lord's coming back glorious. And that word falls short. Not a, there's not an English word that it can it, that can explain, can expound how glorious. All right. The Lord's return is going to be. The scriptures call it the perfect day. Right. It says, um, this is the book of Matthew chapter 24 and verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the hev of heaven to the other. So that shows you who he's coming back for. He's only coming back for the elect of the nation of Israel. It says in the book of Romans, all Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election have obtained it and the rest was blinded. Okay, the rest was blinded. The rest wasn't able to get it. The rest ain't of the elect. Again, it says, though Israel be as the sand of the, sea, uh, of the sea, yet a remnant shall return. They shall no longer stay upon them that smote them, but they shall stay upon the Holy One of Israel in truth. The saints is the elect. Okay, and how I hope to be of that number we even call ourselves, starting with the apostles, the hopeful elect. Okay, the hopeful elect, because our, our, we don't have a chariot in our backyard right now. Okay, not yet at least. We don't have a chariot hovering our house. Actually, we do have chariots hovering over our house. Okay, I believe that wholeheartedly. It says the angel of the Lord encamp around them that fear him. But I'm talking about full access to that thing. Like we're going to have in the kingdom, we're going to be. Mm, mm, mm. Man, Marakab, right? Them chariots. It's gonna be different. Uh, oh, what did that? What did that? Uh, the the lyrics say the meaning of the lyrics. We marching towards. Let's read it. Overall meaning. The lyrics of Andre Ruz. Oh, when the saints speak of a desire to be part of a group of saints. <coughs> so like, yeah. <coughs> Who are marching towards a better future? This is, I just um googled this. I don't know if we. Started on this because I started in doing this video and then I redid it. So I'm not sure if I already mentioned this, but the uh, page or the website is called Sonic Hits. You know, I'm in that possible possible bar spirit. You know, pulling up the song lyrics, breaking down the lyrics, man. <laughs> I'm nowhere. I'm nowhere near his level with the music. But going into this Sonic Hits overall meaning of the song Owen the Saints. Speak of a desire to be part of a group of saints who are marching towards a better future. Spiritually, we're marching towards a better future, a way better future. It says here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Okay. It says that they confess plainly that they are strangers and pilgrims upon this earth. A pilgrim is someone that's journeying 
to a holy place that's marching towards a better future. Okay? This is not our rest. Uh, second entry says, pray for that the days may be shortened. The kingdom's already prepared. We got some way better than this waiting on us. Way, way better for every way better for the world. Not just the city, the world, Craig. Everything's gonna be way better when, when Yahweh Shai comes. When he returns, man, everything's going to be way better than what you see, what you got going on, man. Man, look around you. Look around you, man. My goodness, and now you're picturing all the bullshit that goes on in your head. Look around you. Look at these people, man. Look who's in rulership. Look what the fuck going on. We need to go. We need to. We need salvation. We need deliverance. Okay? It says, the re repetition of the lyrics, oh, when the saints, is indicative of a chant-like quality, which lends a spiritual quality to the song. The lyrics are simple yet powerful, as they express a longing for something greater, something way better than this. Okay? Way better than chemtrails and polluted air, polluted, air, polluted water, polluted food. Way better than this shit, man. Uh, what else? Polluted women. Everything is off and out of course. Okay, but we ha there's a rest promised to us. The scripts say labor to enter into that rest. Oh, uh, and Second Ezra says rest is allowed. Paradise is open. Plenteousness is made ready. Okay, it's said, unto you is paradise open. Why? Unto who? Unto the saints is paradise open, man. The world is going to be our playground. The meek shall inherit the earth. How I hope to be at that number. And all the ones of that number is going to endure through anything. Through any trial, through any temptation. Said, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Depart not, cleave on to him, constantly endure and be increased in our latter end. For gold shall be tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. I gotta get a poster of that. Right? It says, the idea of marching towards a better future. <coughs> Salak, yeah. The idea of marching towards a better future is... A common theme in many spirituals and gospel songs. Gospel means good news. The good news ain't for everybody. Okay? The good news ain't for everybody. And we got the real song. Okay? The, the, the real good news song. We got the glad tidings. Okay? And we telling Israel and they talking shit. We telling Israel the gospel and they talking shit. We telling Israel the gospel and they choosing this place. That's why not all Israel is of Israel. Not all Israel is saints right now, man. It says, is, uh, Salakia, it is a song that celebrates the joy and hope that comes from being part of a community of believers. The saints are believers. The saints are the ones with faith. Scriptures say all men have not faith. Let's look that up. Uh, where is it at? This is man. Is it? Jer I thought it was Jeremiah. Let me look it up on the uh, internet real quick. Um, in the book of Ephesians 2 and 8, it says that faith is a gift. And that gift isn't given to everybody. Unto you, it's given to know the mysteries of the kingdom. Unto them, it is not given. This is the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 2. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. Oh, and Wisdom of Solomon talks about the special gift of faith. The special gift of faith, man. Okay? And that's... <clears throat> Salakia. 
that's who's going to be the lead. That's the saints. All right. It says the idea of marching toward. Um, we already read all that. It says it is a song that celebrates the joy and hope that comes from being part of a community of believers. The repetition of the lyrics is also indicative of a com, com, uh, salakia, communal spirit as everyone is invited to join in and be a part of the movement. Not everyone. It's only for the elect. It's, it's a closed party. Okay. It said private party. Okay. Close to the general public. Overall, Andre Ruse or when the saints... Is a song that speaks of the power of faith and community. It is a song. <coughs> Salakia. It is a song that can lift the spirit and bring hope to those who listen to it. Uh, line by line meaning. Oh, when the saints. Now, then, then it gives the breakdown. It says. The song is talking about the saints or holy people. Uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power. And the Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. The Lord Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai did not set his love upon you. That's the world that the Lord for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That world is talking about the Israelites, the nation of Israel, the holy people who he set his love upon. Right? It says the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai did set his love upon you. Uh, it's like he did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people, for ye were the fewest of all people. But because the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai loved you, for God so loved the world. Look, that break it down right there. You're not gonna see nowhere in the Bible, for God so loved Edom. Okay? But the point is what the holy people being the Israelites, more specifically, the elect of the, of the Israelites, the anointed ones. OK, uh, one of the definitions said um, consecrated, right, which means to be made holy. We Lord will the blood of Yahweh, the blood, the precious blood of the lamb, Yahweh, Mashiach, the son of the heavenly father, Yahweh it covers us. OK, it covers the saints. It's on their doorposts. All right. Protecting them, all right, at all times. Okay, so let's read this and I'm gonna start wrapping it up. This is the book of <clears throat> Revelation, chapter 3. Matter of fact, before we go there, this is Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 10. Verse 9, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints thereof. The patience and the faith of the saints. Okay? Or oh, how I hope to be at that number when the saints come marching in. I want to, man, I want to lead their ass into captivity. Okay, I want to be there for it. I want to, this image that you see on your screen, I want to be there for that. This is the book of Revelations 15 and 2. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire. See the background? That fire is nuclear fire. Touching Babylon, the so-called great. Sodom and Gomorrah. A.K.A. America, Marigo. Right? It says... And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire says that his sword shall be bathed in heaven. It's talking about that nuclear war that's going to take place. And them and Esau's not rising from the ashes. <coughs> Esau ain't no phoenix. It says in them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his M-A-R-K, his karagma. And over... The number of his name stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Lord, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord, power almighty, just 
and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. Woo! The king of the saints. That's mighty. That sounds. Woo! What a beautiful title for our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, being his holy true name. King of the saints. Starts with the elect. Said the government shall be on his shoulder. They say, who's my mother? Who's my brother? Who's my sister? Them that do the will. That's who his people is. Unto well, you, it is given to know the mysteries. To them, it is not given. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. Oh, how I hope to be of that number. We didn't finish this revelation. This is Revelation chapter 11 and verse 18. It says, And the temple of Yahweh Basham Yahushai was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. And there were lightnings and voices, thunderings. Salaki, I'm supposed to be reading verse 18. And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints. And them that fear thy name. So IUIC can't be saints. If you say you can call the Lord, you play yogurt. But let's start off with the head. Alright. Of IUIC. Nathaniel or whatever he go by now. <coughs> Same metal not with them that's given the change. Change his name. Multiple times. Okay. And. He switched up on the name of the Lord. There's a video out there, which I've seen, you know, a while back. It's been, it, it's an old video, but it's been on YouTube for a minute of him teaching the name. He's with another brother. All right. I want to say his name was Banyamyan. All right. Elder brother. I believe he's still around as well. But nonetheless, the point is he used to teach the name of Yahweh. Why how was shy? Now he's saying. Now he was in the woods. Write the name of the Lord backwards and scoffed it. He said, "Niggas say Yahweh." Okay. He he he. The other niggas in this congregation, uh, you can call him your player. You can call him jalapeno pepper. I don't care what you call him. It's where your friends is in tight. It's Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8 in the middle, continuing on, it says, And that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name. So if you're truly a prophet, if you're truly a saint, if you're truly a servant, you're going to come in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and you're going to fear that name. You're going to walk in the fear of that name. It says, small and great, and should destroy them, which destroy the earth. And everybody that's in cahoots with him, he that helpeth, he that helpeth, uh, he that is hoping shall all fall together with his ass. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture in Isaiah. So, let's go from there to the book of Revelations, the third chapter. All right, the book that your, that your pastor won't touch. Okay, this book of Revelation, chapter 3. <coughs> in verse 21, it says, To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne. Man. Man, that's so... And it's a blessing that when we read these, that the that it's a blessing that these words having a, a holy effect on us. <clears throat> That's the spirit. That's why King David said, Take not thy Holy Spirit away from me and cast me not away from thy presence. He said if if Jerusalem not be uh you know my chiefest praise, let the let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, like that desire to serve the Lord and you know being Comforted, like we getting comforted. I'm getting comforted off of reading these, these scriptures, man. That's you know, Lord's will is doing the same for who's listening. And as you re doing your own reading, doing your own studying, you watching the videos, watching the apostles, watching the elders, watching you know, different camps, and you you got the the will to learn, okay, and 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 it's changing you for the good. All right, and that's a blessing, man. That's a great sign, and we just got to continue to do what we've been doing. It says, be not weary and well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. What we're doing is well, man. It said, plead the most, it pleased the most high by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. It pleased the creator of everything that we see and everything that we don't see. The earth itself is humongous, and he made it. 
He said it's, it's his footstool. So to please him, that has to be on the top of our to-do list. The whole duty of man is to fear the Most High and to keep his uh, commandments. Because he's sending his son and says that he'll send a savior and a great one to deliver us from the oppressors. In Psalms it says, kiss the son lest he be angry with you and you perish from the way. Kiss is um, wor uh, worship, means to worship. There's a scripture in the book of Kings. It talks about, um, damn, who was it? I just read it. That's ridiculous, man. I need a new brain, new body, new everything. Uh, who was it? Said that he kissed. I'm gonna not have to get it. <clears throat> he kissed and bowed. This is uh First Kings 19 and 18. Yet I have left me seven thousand. Right. So this is Yahweh Shai speaking. This is like it is the Heavenly Father Yahweh, right? Um, which I could say Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Because Yahweh Shai was always around. First spirit ever created. First Kings 19 and 18, it says, Yet yeah, I have left me 7,000 in Israel. That's that number, right? He said the same thing in Romans. 7,000 men which shall not bow the knee to Baal. It says, All the knees which have not bowed unto Baal, and every mouth which have not kissed him, meaning what worshipped, and then worship him, right? To bow, to kiss us all, right? To worship, Okay. So hey, Yahweh Shah, he coming for the true worshipers. Going back to that Psalms, kiss the sun lest he be angry with you. Worship him in truth and in sincerity. Well, it says the true worshipers shall worship him in spirit and in truth. For he seeketh such to worship him. Okay. This is a blessing to be a part of. I feel all type of endorphins releasing in my brain. You know. Uh, just from sitting here reading these scriptures and being able to teach. Man, I remember when I'm first starting to learn. And now I'm teaching. Now the Lord got me teaching. You know, and Lord willing and doing unto the end. And next thing you know, we're going to be toasting up with the Lord. I don't want to write this how we endure. I don't want to write this how we are that number. The hopeful elect. Oh, how I hope to be of that number. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Oh, when the saints come marching in. Anyways, Lord willing, that was edifying, uplifting, exhorting. Did I finish on that? We read that, Kings. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, that was it. You know, I was uh <clears throat> looking at a other, couple of different other um precepts and... Trying to figure out what I was going to do a lesson on. I was watching the Apostle, other Apostle Ramlob. He was going in on the name. All right. And then guys, the purple uh, bandits, you know. IUIC talking about, you know, that was pretty much the topic of the Apostle's lesson. He was just defending the name, standing boldly and stiffly for the name. And um, I don't even know how that. It's all through the spirit. When the saints come marching in. In how we hope to be at that number. Therefore, what? Give diligence to make our calling and election sure. Stay to show ourselves approved. Endure unto the end. Pray without ceasing. Okay, all these different things. Lord willing, now is edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rachachodash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rachachodash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us and allows us to rightly divide the word of truth. Teach the word correctly and directly. The Thamash Nakaba allows the Quimish or Shara like a double honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahabla Bachyar Shara, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom Achim, you must keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is nearer than we believe. When the saints come 